Hello, Gordon here. Hopeful is well with you. And this Facebook Live, I've got plenty of passion examples. And it might be a quicker video today. Lately, I've been doing a lot of screen sharing videos. And as I've got excited and started doing the, screen sh the live screen sharing and showing live examples, which I've thought has been helpful, the videos might have ended up as being a bit longer. So hopefully, but you never know once I slip into waffle mode, this is gonna be back to a shorter length video. And I wanted to talk about some examples of passions that you might have, that you might be a creator in any of these fields of passion, or you might be a consumer in any of these fields of passion. And they can all be used to turn that passion into profit online because they're all in huge markets online with lots of people online, lots of money being spent, which is one of the fundamentals, as you will know, I've spoken about before. Now, I might be doing a video on each of them individually, but because they're they were piling up in the new, this, this is the good thing about content and creating content. You're never gonna run out of something to say. There's always gonna be something going on in the here and now that you can use as content and then link to your monetization offer or your call to action. For example, my call to action might be, go over to the website and watch my video, the three, two, one breakdown of turning your passions into profits. And you can see that at onlinepassionprofits.com slash chat. Onlinepassionprofits.com slash chat. And there's also ways you can get in touch with me and we can have a, guess what, a chat about your passion and how we can apply it to the three, two, one passion profit breakdown. Okay, so those examples. How many have I got? I've got, I'm thinking about it, one, two, three, certainly four examples. So I better get on with it. The first one is sport. We've spoken about sport before. Formula One, a massive amount of money being spent in Formula One. And why am I talking about it today? Well, today was the Chinese Grand Prix. It's Sunday the 14th of April, 2019, as I'm recording this. And it was the Chinese Grand Prix, and it was the 1,000th Grand Prix and part of the appeal of Grand Prix is the history of it building on the tradition and the history so you can talk about that you can talk about the the history the drivers the commentators the team the bust ups the fights the traveling circus the money you could talk about any or all of that and never run out of content and there's plenty of monetization methods in Formula One the 1,000th Grand Prix took place today in China. That's one example. Second example, Susan Boyle, a singer, Susan Boyle, was on Britain's Got Talent last night, and it's 10 years. I can't believe it myself. 10 years since she had her first audition on the show in Britain's Got Talent, and the judges laughed when they came out, when she came out, because she was looking a bit dowdy, to be fair. And she opened her mouth and this musical theatre voice came out singing I Dreamed a Dream and everyone was like, like that, <laughs> with the shock between the way she looked and the voice that came out. And she's gone on, to, she didn't win that series of Britain's Got Talent, by the way, she came second, but she went on to sell, she sold something like, was it 20 million records she sold since breaking loads of records, both in the UK charts and in the US charts. A big star in the United States and in Japan and, oh, superb. What a story. Music, a massive passion, whether you're a consumer of music or whether you're a musician who struggles to follow your passion as much as you'd like because of the financial side of things. You can use the online passion profits model to talk about Susan Boyle, to talk about, some people say Britain's Got Talent has destroyed the music industry, which is absolute cobblers, by the way. So you can talk about that debate. You can use my passion profit twist, 
which applies to any or all passions. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That's two examples, sport and music. Third example, photography. I saw a picture in the newspaper this week of a, a couple, a bloke proposing to his girlfriend against the backdrop of the Milky Way at night and some rugged scenery. And it was up in a glen in Scotland and he is a freelance photographer. And it spoke about how the fact he set the image on a 10 second timer on his camera, then ran over, bent down and proposed to his girlfriend. And you come up with this fantastic photo. Now I'm not sure, 10 seconds, I'm not sure you can get a picture like that at night in it on a 10 second delay. I think you need longer than that. But then I'm not a photography expert. I like taking photos, but I'm not a photography expert. But photography, do you think there's money to be made in the photography niche online? Oh, blimey, yes. A huge amount, a massive amount of money being spent in the photography niche online. And then you can relate photography to all sorts of other niches, can't you? Sport, music photography, travel photography, animal photography, and so on and so on. A massive, massive niche, whether again, you're just a consumer, you enjoy other people's photography, or you're a creator in that passion. So that's three examples, sport, music and photography. We're going well. Now, the, the, the last example is about me. I'm doing this Facebook Live on my phone and the camera quality on my phone is good enough. It works fine. When I've done the screen sharing, I use the camera on my laptop and the camera quality isn't good enough. And I've not been able to get any of my phone or my video cameras to connect to the laptop and use that as a camera. I haven't been able to find out how it works. And in one of the coaching groups that I'm a member of, I asked the question of what the answer was. And I got a recommendation back saying, this is the camera that we use. I think it's a Logitech C, C9 something, something, something. Anyway, and I knew the quality is good because I can see the results that they're getting and they're telling me the exact camera that they're using. So I went and had a look and you can see it on Amazon, I've spoken about Amazon before. You can see it on Amazon, it's it £44, I think it was. I thought that's not bad, considering I know that the result it gives is excellent. But I looked a little bit further and I found another Logitech webcam a bit further down the scale for £15. I thought, hang on, I know the £44 one is great, but maybe the £15 one is going to be good enough. And I could save myself £30. It could be that the £15 one, the difference is going to show between a £15 one and a £44 one, and it's not going to be good enough. But the way retail works in this country, you can just try it and get, take, it, take it back and get a refund if it doesn't work. So I've bought the £15 one and I was tempted to, to set it up and do a screen share on it later, which I might still do, but I thought I would just talk about it as an example in this video on my phone, because do you think there's money that's spent on tech and gadgets and webcams and geeking out that niche market? Do you think that's got money online? Oh, of course it has. And if you've got a passion for the tech and geeking out on that kind of stuff, could you use that passion and turn it into profit online? Oh yes, absolutely. And remember, you can see my three, two, one breakdown of how to turn your passion into profit online over at the website, onlinepassionprofit.com slash chat. So there, I've rattled through four examples, sport, music, photography, and tech, geekiness, webcam stuff. All great niches that you can use to turn your passion into profit online. Never mind throwing in my passion profit twist. Mm. So I hope you like that message. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about any of those stories, any of those niches, if you're passionate about them, whether you're a consumer or a creator. 
And if you like that message, if you think there's value in that information that I've just shared in those examples, do hit the like button. I'd appreciate that. It helps me spread my message a little bit further. So I hope all is well with you. Wishing you as ever health and happiness. And I will speak to you again tomorrow.